Musk versus Twitter. In the last few days, it has dominated the news more than Russia versus, well, the rest of the world. But it appears we are nearing the end of this long saga. I want to explain Elon's real reasons for pulling out of this deal. Spoiler, it's not what you think. And how this might bring Twitter to an end. Before I begin, here's a short recap of what has been happening so far. So Elon Musk proposed a buyout of Twitter. Within a few weeks, he acquired 9% of the company. This has quickly turned into an attempt to take over the organization. And only afterwards, he actually made an offer. But now, he backed out of the deal altogether, claiming Twitter is withholding crucial information from him. Here are a few things about this issue that will literally blow your mind. To start with, Musk offered $54.20 for the company because he wanted to say $420. It's a weed joke. Yeah. He then sent out a torrent of tweets criticizing Twitter itself, with one tweet specifically focusing on bots where he said the following, If our Twitter bid succeeds, we will defeat the spam bots or die trying. Strange. On its own, it doesn't seem odd. But within the context of the situation, it makes absolutely no sense. I won't dwell too much on this, but all of it was rather expected. The topic has been covered extensively by me in past videos, so you're welcome to check it out. The thing that I found maddening is how few people seem to be paying attention to the fact that Elon Musk used Twitter to suppress numerous stories that were critical of him. By creating so much noise about this deal, the world's richest guy is set to buy one of the world's most influential social media companies. Elon Musk and Twitter. It's the hottest and messiest relationship. Twitter drama. Do you want to hear the drama about Elon Musk? Because boy, we got it. Twitter is now suing. He basically controlled specific keywords and pushed critical pieces about him to Google obscurity, never to be found. <laughs> but the biggest problem, or genius move, depending on your viewpoint, is that he provided Tesla a valid reason to sell $8.5 billion worth of stock when it was around the $1,000 mark. Today, it sits at $701. What makes it both evil and genius? Elon knew the stock price would fall as we enter a bear market, and he wanted to sell as much as he could at the peak without scaring investors off. Right from the start, the deal appeared to be a bit of a stretch. His attempts at financing seemed quite risky, and his attitude towards the company felt almost malicious. Moreover, he waived his due diligence rights in his initial proposal, and although I don't see much discussion about this, it's a critical element of the story being unfolded in front of us. In essence, due diligence is when a person or company conducts research on what they are buying. In Musk's case, that means looking at Twitter's financials, technology development, patents, customers, and revenue streams. But when his initial proposal was submitted to the SEC, he waived his right because the submission itself was an acknowledgement that he had done his homework and decided to move forward with the deal. The phase where he could ask questions was basically over. I consider this to be a huge deal, because it contradicts pretty much everything he has attempted to do or say since then. Nevertheless, here we are. His fixation on Twitter's number of bot accounts led him to claim material breach of conditions. It's very strange. First of all, he was openly admitting that he was aware of a bot problem on Twitter and intended to address it if the bid was successful. It was literally one of his goals. As for the second thing, he waived his right to due diligence and had already completed the whole process, which meant he could not demand any information from Twitter. He could to some extent, but not like this, because he already agreed to a billion dollar termination penalty. Twitter actually granted him full access, but quite frankly, they did so in a way that was insulting. Musk was granted access to Twitter's firehose that contains all of the tweets coming through. Essentially, this is a huge stream of data that would be nearly impossible to analyze. Nevertheless, they gave him access. Despite this, Musk sent a letter terminating the agreement on the exact day that the option became available to him. And that's where it stands today. But there's a bit more to discuss. So what can we expect to happen now? It is not a surprise that Twitter is suing Elon Musk. However, if I were to guess the outcome of the case, I would say that Musk is trying to get out of an agreement he shouldn't be able to get out of. Considering Elon Musk waited until precisely the date where he could terminate the deal, and then did exactly that, Twitter has a pretty strong case here. It might not end up costing him just a billion dollars. It might be a whole lot more. Because these two parties have to come to a mutual agreement before they can amicably part ways and not meet in court. Anyhow, to clarify, Elon Musk technically cannot and does not have the right to just pay the billion dollars and have it be the end of it. Twitter has the right for specific performance, and as long as there is debt financing, Twitter can force the merger agreement to happen, even if Musk was to tank his position to a point where he cannot complete the deal. 
my understanding is, it wouldn't be a valid argument. In a public statement, Twitter's chairman already announced that they would take Elon Musk to court and enforce the merger agreement. There is no end to the drama since no matter where you stand on this deal, there is always something to cling to. In the current legal situation, supporters of Elon Musk argue that Twitter had been tricked into a legal bind. According to some, all of this was planned in advance. While it appears that no information was held back from Musk, some speculate that he performed this stunt because Twitter suppressed information which he wants exposed during the court search and discovery procedure. I'm not saying it's an impossible scenario, but if Twitter were in fact misrepresenting monthly active users significantly, it would be disastrous for them. As far back as when they became a public company, Twitter claimed that there were only 5% spam accounts on the platform. So if Musk manages to expose them, it'll go down in history. However, I wouldn't bet on it. Twitter and Elon Musk are likely to reach a private settlement. It is important to note that Musk has probably already got what he really wanted. After all, he has effectively liquidated a significant amount of his Tesla stock when it was worth a lot more than it does now. Consider that the Tesla stock does not trade on fundamentals and is entirely dependent on Musk as a charismatic figure. Therefore, Musk needed to have a pretty damn good reason to justify selling billions of dollars worth of shares. And that is exactly what the Twitter deal was. Nevertheless, he will probably not achieve a definitive victory here, since Twitter will take a lot from him. Not only that, you can expect quite a few investor lawsuits, and several of them are already in. It's also not good news for Twitter. As a result of this dispute, the company will be seen as vulnerable. Shares are already falling. The $54 per share Musk offered is rapidly disappearing, and it is likely to assume that someone will eventually step in and purchase the company for a much lower price. In other words, a large corporation will eventually absorb Twitter, and Elon Musk will walk away knowing his action caused a financial downfall of a multi-billion dollar social media platform. While I might be wrong on this, it seems like a very reasonable scenario to me. It is important to note that various possible outcomes may occur if Twitter and Elon Musk battle it out in court, such as Musk paying $44 billion for the company, or Twitter ceasing to exist entirely for lying to the public from the very get-go. Another outcome is that they will sign a revised merger agreement if they can work out a deal out of court. There will be a decrease in price, and Elon will get a huge discount as a result. There's been a lot of talk about his 4D chess game and how he's playing everyone. Quite honestly, very little about this deal has made actual sense, so I wouldn't count on that changing anytime soon. I believe it is unlikely that Elon Musk would walk away unscathed. Besides contradicting his earlier statements, the bot claim would also have to be classified as having a material adverse effect. And that's a very tall mountain to climb on, even for Musk. In the end, he probably won't be able to prove it, if Twitter is able to demonstrate the spam user calculations to be within a reasonable gap from their 5% claim, regardless of their testing methodology. You could claim Twitter is many things, and some of them might be terrible, but I sincerely doubt that they misrepresented such significant information so blatantly for so many years, especially since that would have a catastrophic consequence because the company is publicly traded. That's my take on this bizarre World War III situation between Musk and Twitter. Let me know what you think in the comments. (laughs) 